What up everyone, Rusty Rob here. Welcome to Advent of Code. We're gonna try to solve problem three with the best programming language, which is, of course, Rust. So without further ado, let's get into this Christmas spirit and try to solve problem three. So let me try to find the problem and I'll just get this damn video out the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I've got my editor here. And have I got Chrome? Yes, I do. So this problem, rucksack reorganization. It's a problem of reading comprehension, in my opinion. But we've got to go through each of these lines and look at the first half of the line as a rucksack and the second half of a line as a rucksack. And we have to see what letters in common. So here we can see P is in common. And that's kind of the first half of the problem. And then we have to kind of add up the sum of the scores of the letters that are in common. But first, let's just try to go through the lines and split them. And then let's try to find P. And then we're going to try to find L. And then we'll try to find capital P. And I think that'll be a good starting point. Alrighty. Here we go. So let's input equal that and okay so we've got a reference to a string now we want to go through the lines so for line and input dot split slash n and you always got to be careful doing this kind of thing I'd rather like a split lines kind of method like what if we had this then we might have an extra line at the bottom that we didn't want. But I think we should be OK. So I don't think we need to use trim or anything like that. And if it was Windows, it might be like slash R slash N or whatever. Anyway, so we've got the lines. Now let's just go let bag. Oh, I better do this quick because my headphones are almost flat. So let's see if I can finish this recording. So bag one will be equal to a reference to the first half of the line. Uh, we'll go n over two. So let n equal uh, n dot length. And bag two will just be the rest. And this is... Uh, exclusive range and inclusive range so we're not duplicating on that character and we could go assert n percent two is equal to zero because it should be even um, so now how do we check what characters these have in common well we can use hash set for that so hash set so that set one equal hash set oh let's see what would it be a hash set of characters i guess yeah we'll do characters for now um equals hash set from editor from editor bag one dot charles Cool. Do the same for that second bag. I could have used the full up here, but anyway, copying and pasting is pretty quick. So now we want to go through the intersection for C and S1 dot intersect S2. Now we need the second part of the problem, which is we need to add these up, prioritize them. So A through Z have priorities 1 to 26, and A to cap, cap away is uh, 27 to 52. And then we'll add them up, and we should get 57. Okay. So F C dot is uppercase. So we'll go that score. Actually, I would. Priority equal 
if it's up the case then we want to go let's just convert it to a UA so I'll call it let bytes equal C as U8. So if it's uppercase, we need to shift it. So it should be, it was 57, wasn't it? 27 through to 52. Okay. Okay, so I don't know where I got 57 from. Okay. So it'll be C minus capital A plus 27 else yeah B and that's we want this all as I32 we don't want we'll get a overflow error if we use U8 um, and then otherwise it's just going to be B minus A plus 1. So now priority is in, in 32. And we just need to sum these up, right? So let's grab the sum. And we'll just print that out. Okay. Now, what is this C as U8? Cast the rural point to first. Let's try that. Hundred fifty seven, please. Nope. We need to add the party to the sum. Uh, even one just that we're not using the verbal, which is nice. Perfect. Right, so now let's try this on the real input. And I tried uh downloading this using the uh, request library so something like re request up something blocking something get and then that URL but it you have to have auth so I'm just going to manually copy and paste into her so now let's try run that and let's hope this is correct. Come on, baby. Yep, yeah, got a gold star. So that's Advent Code. First problem solved for us, but it's the third problem of of Advent of Code. And I, I guess there's one for every day of the month, or maybe one for every day up until Christmas. So. Yeah, let's check out the calendar. So yeah, I've got a gold star for this one. And yeah, we want to get as many as we can this month. We'll see how much time we have. But yeah, good luck everyone for Advent of Code. And uh, I hope you're using Rust. Uh, yeah, happy to see your your solutions. Feel free to post them. I think um, this one would have been nicer to use an iterator rather than yeah, there's some pretty nice tricks we could have done in using an iterator, but I think this worked well enough. Alrighty, see you later. Rusty Rob signing out, and happy holidays.